Valley Club, your favorite team of Canadian superheroes are coming to Marvel Strike Force, and they'll be great in not just one, but two game modes. In this video, we're revealing the kits for Sasquatch, Guardian, and Northstar, as well as the reworks for Wolverine and Sunfire. Your new Alpha Flight will be great in the upcoming Alpha Flight raids, but they're also going to be dominant in war. So if you're ready to see how good they're going to be, as well as what exciting trend this confirms, then you know what to do, Valley Club. Find that like button, and let's go smash it! And welcome back to the Valley Flying channel. I am Valley Flying, and I hope you're having a great day. In this video, we're revealing the newest raid slash war team in Alpha Flight, New characters, Sasquatch, Guardian, North Star, as well as the reworks to Wolverine and Sunspot. But before we get to all that exciting stuff, if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button for more great Marvel Strike Force content. We have at least five Marvel Strike Force videos per week on the channel. Usually there's more. We have reveal videos like this, gameplay videos, news videos, everything up your experience in Marvel Strike Force. But before we get to all the kit reveals of Alpha Flight, I do want to talk about an exciting trend that I think is happening. As we look at this splash screen here, we see the Alpha Flight characters on here. On the other side, we see the Gamma characters, and I think they may be getting a rework down the road. We've seen our Apocalypse tunes get some added value, so it's not as painful to go back and uh, unlock Apocalypse. Gambit was moved to the Extreme X-Men, so not just on those unlimited X-Men. Deathpool is now in the Mercs for money, not just needed for Apocalypse. Kestrel got a rework on that Pegasus team, and Sunfire now is on that Alpha Flight team. So let me know what you think is happening to Gamma, which of those characters you think is most likely to get a rework in the future. But let's move forward with Guardian, the first member of this Alpha Flight team that I do want to talk about. As you can see, he is a hero, global, tech, brawler, Alpha Flight character, speed, is a decent 120 and as far as the unique this character he is gonna take gravitonium so same thing that korg took same thing that she hulk took the dad bros graviton and a few other characters there uh, as we go back to guardian here we see his basic he is gonna gain regeneration and he is gonna attack the primary target for 280 percent damage applying one defense down to a maximum of three chaining to an adjacent target for 280 percent damage applying defense down to uh, plus one to a maximum of three the t4 is gonna add 90 percent damage to the primary and secondary targets pretty okay basic let's move on to the special three turn cooldown you're going to apply offense up to self and all allies you're also going to attack the primary and adjacent targets for 300 percent damage applying offense down for two turns and slow for two turns this attack it cannot be blocked it cannot miss and it cannot be blocked the t4 is going to add 40 percent more damage to the primary and secondary targets it's also going to apply defense down for two turns the ultimate is a big seven turn cooldown you're going to start by flipping immunity on the primary target then applying stun attacking the primary and adjacent targets for 260 percent piercing bonus attacking the primary and adjacent targets for 260% piercing, flipping taunt on each target, applying defense down for two turns for each target, and gaining 500% extra focus for this attack. This attack is unavoidable. The T4 is going to add 60% more piercing damage to the primary and secondary targets. And the, T and the passive is a long one. On spawn, you're going to bury yourself and all allies by 20% of this character's max health. You're going to apply offense up for two turns, regeneration to uh, for one turn for self and all allies. On turn, you're also going to apply assist now to one random alpha flight ally. And I like that that's not just in the raids. On enemy death, or not just in the raids and war. On enemy death, applying offense down to all enemies. Also going to gain 50% max health for himself and alpha flight allies in the raids gaining additional 50 percent max health for self and all alpha flight allies more damage 50 percent more for him and uh, alpha flight allies as well and in the raids and on war defense if this character is not exhausted on enemy death bury yourself in all alpha flight allies for five percent of this character's max health while this character has regeneration uh, this character and all alpha flight allies gain 50 percent armor so pretty strong brawler has some protection elements as well but the real protector for alpha flight is sasquatch he is a hero global bio protector alpha flight character he's a slow 100 speed character which for protectors isn't a isn't necessarily a bad thing the unique that he takes is the gamma radiation same thing as leader same thing as a gamma team same thing as rescue and a bunch of other characters so uh interesting that gamma may be getting a rework down the road very soon 
Sasquatch takes the same unique as a lot of the Gamma characters. Uh, as far as the basic, he's going to attack the primary target 280% damage in the raids and on war defense, clearing one random negative effect from self and all Alpha Flight characters. That is a nice thing on war defense and in the raids. Gaining defense up for one turn and two deflects. The T4 is going to add 50% damage to the primary target and gaining two deflects. The special four turn cooldown, you're going to clear all barrier on all enemies. You're going to attack the primary target for 350% damage, applying one slow to maximum three and reducing speed bar by 100%. Oh my goodness, that is strong. Applying safeguard to self and all alpha flight allies. That is a strong, strong special here, reducing the speed bar by 100%. So yeah, that primary target's turn meter is starting all the way at zero after this special from Sasquatch. The T4 is going to add 60% percent more damage to the primary target and apply safeguard to self and all alpha flight allies with the t4 the ultimate seven turn cooldown applying barrier on all enemies or clearing barrier on all enemies that would be bad if you applied on all enemies clearing barrier on all, all enemies attacking the primary and adjacent targets 450 percent damage applying offense down for two turns to all enemies in the raids and on war defense applying trauma for two turns to all enemies Prolong the duration of all positive effects on this character by one up to a maximum of three. This character and this attack gains 500% focus. The T4 is going to add 90% damage to the primary and secondary targets in the raids and on war defense. Applying trauma for two turns to all enemies. And the passive, it is a long one, as is the case for a lot of these recent characters. On spawn, applying defense up for two turns and two death proof to self and all alpha flight allies on turn. This character's health is greater to or equal to 75% and this character does not have taunt, gaining taunt for two turns. When this character drops below 35% health, gaining stealth for two turns and applying two death proof and two regeneration to self and all alpha flight allies. Oh man, so it's not great if he is above 75% health, he's gonna gain that taunt. When he drops below, he's gonna gain stealth and everybody gets death proof on enemy death, healing for 5% of this character's max health. So Sasquatch is gonna get a lot of healing if you attack this team with like an un dying on war defense or something like that also going to gain 50 percent armor alpha flight arm uh, alpha flight allies are also going to gain that armor as well 50 percent drain alpha flight allies also gaining that 50 percent drain and in the raids 100 percent chance to counter attack and in the raids on a war defense on spawn if this character does not have exhausted applying safeguard for two turns to self and all alpha flight allies on enemy death Applying offense down to all enemies. So yeah, you probably don't want to attack Alpha Flight with the Undying team. Gaining 100% max health, gaining additional 50% drain. Alpha Flight allies also gaining additional 50% drain. When this character has defense up and does not have exhausted, gain 100% extra damage for self and all Alpha Flight allies. Man, that initial turn to this team on war defense, it's gonna be tough. And what the T4 is gonna do in the raids on a war defense, that extra 100% max health. And a raids on war defense, well, this character has defense up and does not have exhausted. Well, then you're, that's the extra 100% damage for self and all Alpha Flight allies. So that is a strong, strong T4, especially if you're planning to use this team on war defense. And rounding out this team, the last new character on this team is Northstar. He is a hero global mutant controller Alpha Flight. Speed is a 127. The unique he takes is this Luminium. And Luminium is the same stuff that Black Cat, Jubilee, and a few other characters need. Taking a look at the basic for Northstar, he is going to attack the primary primary target 250% damage plus 25% per charge. If this character has one or more charge, apply offense down to the primary target. 10 or more charge, apply trauma to the primary target. I like that uh, the effect changes uh, based on the amount of trauma that he has. The T4 is going to add 50% damage to the primary target. And if this character has 10 or more charge, that is when you're going to apply the trauma with that T4. And a special looks very strong. Three turn cooldown, attacking the primary target for 340% damage and applying blind for two turns as well. If charged, you're also going to rebound chain for 170% damage to a number of adjacent targets equal to the number of charge on this character up to a maximum of 12. So the charges does matter for this move. 50% chance to apply blind on each secondary target in the raids, applying one blind to a maximum of three on each secondary target instead. That is a lot stronger. And counter attack breaks this chain. The sec is unavoidable, cannot be blocked. The T4 is gonna add more damage to the primary and secondary targets and add blind for two turns to the primary target. And the uh, ultimate seven turn cooldown, 
You're gonna flip all positive effects, complete a revive once on all enemies, attacking all enemies for 240% damage plus 10% per charge, applying slow for two turns, disrupted for one turn, and prolonged the duration of all negative effects, excluding stun, trauma, and ability block on all enemies by one. And on ward defense, you're gonna clear charge on all enemies. This attack is unavoidable. The T4 is gonna add more damage to all enemies, and that is where you're gonna prolong your duration of negative effects, except for stun, trauma, and ability block by one. And the pass is very strong as well. On spawn, apply evade to self and all Alpha Flight allies. Cleared all charge from this character, so you can't start to match with a bunch of spawn. On enemy death, speed up to self and all Alpha Flight allies. When this character or any Alpha Flight allies attack, this is where you're gonna gain the charge. You're gonna gain one charge to a maximum of 10. 50% focus, 50% resistance. Alpha Flight allies also gaining that 50% resistance. In the raids, this character and all Alpha Flight allies cannot have their speed bar reduced, so they're gonna be stronger in the raids. In the raids or on war defense, on uh, enemy death, apply slow to all enemies while this character does not have exhausted. This character and all Alpha Flight allies cannot gain slow. While this character does not have exhausted, enemies cannot gain charge. When this character does have exhausted, enemies cannot gain charge. While this character does not have exhausted, gain 250% focus for self and all Alpha Flight allies. Gain 25% speed and Alpha Flight allies are also gonna gain that speed. Man, this guy looks to be one, one of the strongest ones on the team. Let me know what your thoughts are to these new Alpha Flight members. I'm, I'm leading towards the strongest one being North Star, but Sasquatch is pretty exciting. Let me know your thoughts on these new members let's move on to the changes to wolverine his base stats did get changed a little bit health went up by 41 percent damage up by 22 percent his armor went up by 15 percent focus up by 35 percent and his resistance went up by 43 percent his basic got changed as well still attacking the primary target instead of 240 percent damage now it's 260 percent damage still gaining speed up not just in war though just gaining speed up and in raids and in war defense applying disrupted to the primary target uh this iso 8 and counter to attack got changed a little bit to mimic that still gaining the speed up uh it's still applying to disrupted in war defense and in the raids no change to the special the ultimate got a little bit of a change as well if omega red colossus or sasquatch that part got added to this part always gaining offense over two turns uh, clearing the death proof from the primary target and this part got added on kill repeat this attack targeting the most injured enemy so that is good got a lot more damage there passive got changed slightly on death uh 25 chance to revive with 50 percent of this character's max health he had a five percent chance to revive with 50 percent of his max health and this part at the end all got added in the raids and on war defense while this character has death proof and does not have exhausted this character and all alpha flight allies gain 200 percent resistance on enemy death prolonged the duration of all negative effects except for trauma stun and ability block on all enemies by one plus a maximum of three so yeah you really don't want to attack this team with the undying team on war and if this character has three or more alpha flight allies enemies cannot gain stealth so yeah hell is not gonna gain going to stealth so that this is kind of a hard counter to the undying team and rounding out this team as a fifth member is sunfire he got a change to his base stats as well health went up by 24 percent damage up by 29 percent armor up by 39 percent focus up by 11 percent and resistance went up by 18 percent slight changes to his basic and his ultimate his basic uh it, you're just gaining more crit chance in the raids this attack is gaining 100 percent crit chance no changes to the special the uh, ultimate did get a slight change as well just in the raids on war on on war defense normally what this move was doing at the end of this move you clear offense up well in the raids and war defense you're not going to clear offense up with the ultimate this passive got a slight change as well uh, on spawn this stuff is new gaining offense up for two turns in the raids generate six ability energy for self and all alpha flight allies yeah you are not having to manage cooldowns in the raids with sunfire on the team and all the stuff at the bottom got added as well in the raids and on war defense on enemy death generate one ability energy for self and all alpha flight allies yeah definitely don't want to bring undying while this character has offense up and does not have exhausted this character and all alpha flight allies gain a hundred percent drain that's an addition to the drain that they're already gaining from sasquatch man while this character 
character has counter, gain an additional 10% damage, while this character has speed up, gain an additional 10% speed. So yeah, this team is going to be nuts in the raids. Very strong on war defense. But that's it for the reveal of this Alpha Flight team. Let me know your hype level for this team. Let me know your thoughts on the selection of characters. Are you happy with who they selected for this team? Or would you have rather them selected some other Alpha Flight members to be a part of this game? Hopefully you got some value from this video. If you did, leave it a like. It is free for you. And it tremendously helps out the channel and the YouTube algorithm. And if you want to see what are the only 10 teams that you need to win right now in Marvel Strike Force, check out the video up there. You probably could add Alpha Flight to this list as well. So hopefully you have a great rest of your day. Hulk fist bump. Valley flying out.